<laughs> giant surprise toy opening today. Inside the giant egg, we have a lot of awesome surprises. But first of all, guys, let's go ahead and take a look around us because what I did was I like the Jurassic World toys so much, I went and bought almost all of them again brand new so I could have them brand new in boxes on top of all the other ones I have because guys as of June this year they will not be made anymore Hasbro has lost the license so as of June this year you will not find these on shelves anymore and the prices will probably skyrocket so if you do, I know uh, Toys R Us still has a few of them, and some other stores have some, but uh, if it's something you're interested in, in, guys, buy it soon. Amazon still has, I'll put a link below this video where you could get some of these on Amazon. They probably have the best prices there. So uh, go ahead and check that out. But anyways, don't wait guys because they will be gone forever okay let's see what is inside the giant magical surprise egg wow okay are you guys ready wow this is gonna be fun oh wow check this out it's a, a whole container of 25 good dinosaur characters wow I have not seen good dinosaur toys in a while guys this is gonna be awesome let's go ahead and see what we have in here although to tell you the truth I'm not really sure if I'm gonna remember all of the characters names so I might need some help from you guys okay so first of all we have Arlo and I believe we have, yep, this is Arlo's dad. You could tell because the head's like, uh, he's got like a square shaped head. So his head shape is different than Arlo's. Okay, so there is two of them. And who is next? Okay, here we have three members of the T-Rex family. You've got Butch, you've got Vivian, and do you guys remember what the third dino's name is? If you do, drop me a comment. I'm not going to tell you. I want to see if you guys remember what it is. Okay, and then we have four Thunderclaps. If you remember, Thunderclap was the pterodactyl that kept trying to eat Spot. So he is a really evil guy. So let's go ahead and move these aside. Okay, then we have four Butch characters. If you remember, Butch was the Velociraptor who was totally clueless. He was like, duh, my name is Butch. Uh, do you remember what my name is? I forgot. Well, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Butch. And then strangely enough, this one comes with the cattle from the movie too. Oh, there was one more, like the longhorn cattle. And then we have three Stegosaurus. Do you remember what her name was? I'm thinking Alice, but I could be wrong. Uh, if you do know what it is, let me know in the comment section. And then two Triceratop Vivians. Awesome, one blue, one white, and then three Ankylosauruses. So if you guys remember this one's name too, oh, it looked cool. And then the final one is the uh, Triceratops that has really fancy horns. And this guy is Forest Woodbush. Hello. You know, I'm wondering if he is a Triceratops. He might not be, because I'm only seeing two horns there. Okay, then this next one is awesome! It was actually too big to fit into the egg. 
This is a Schleich set. This is from uh, World of History Dinosaurs. This is set 42263. It includes a T-Rex on the hunt. So you got a T-Rex, you got a skull, a baby T-Rex, and an egg. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out because it looks totally cool. Okay. So first of all, you got the cute little baby T-Rex. So this little guy looks really cute and he feels soft. I'm surprised at how soft this guy feels. And then it comes with a little clear egg that I guess he's supposed to hatch out of. So this guy fits right into the egg. So you could have him hatching out of the egg. And then you have a cool Triceratops skull. Check this thing out. You could actually uh, open and close it there. And a bone. Like a chewed bone here that uh, Triceratops is eating. Actually, chewed bone that the T-Rex was eating. Sorry, not Triceratops. <laughs> and then the tri the T-Rex. Wow! This guy is awesome! This is one of the coolest Schleich T-Rexes I have seen. I am totally impressed. Check this guy out. Okay, this guy is very realistic feeling the texture. And uh, it's some type of like almost... I think it's plastic, but it almost feels like it has like a rubber membrane on the top so it does feel very realistic he's got like some type of a crown here on his head spots on his neck really great paint job uh, inside and out really good detail on the tongue the teeth are incredible it's like individual teeth and they are painted so nice big claws on the hand the legs and the bottom of this guy is super good detailed. Check out the striations and everything on his feet. Beautiful paint job. Wow. Seriously, this is one of the nicest dinos I've seen come from Schleich. And it is huge. And Schleich's, Schleich makes some really nice sets, guys. I mean, this guy is totally awesome wow that was a cool set okay and last but not least from the giant egg we are going to pull this bag of 15 surprise jurassic world dinos i showed you one of these bags before but this is a brand new one you could see it's sealed here i'm gonna go ahead and open this for you guys right now I bought several of these bags uh, because once again, that's another thing that's going to disappear uh, forever once uh, the license runs out in June. So here, uh, they do come sealed in these little triangle uh, like packages, so I'm going to go ahead and open them up so we can check them out. Okay, and then these do come in this awesome bag here. It says Jurassic World is open for business. Visitors from around the world can't wait to experience the thrill and awe of the actual dinosaurs. And guys, uh, once Jurassic World 2 toys come start coming out, I will review all of them for you. I'm super excited because Mattel is taking over. So I think they're actually going to do a much better job than uh, Hasbro has. Okay, so here is the Triceratops. This guy is awesome. The detail on these little ones is totally cool. And then that's a gray one. Then we have a dark, like a green and a really light green Triceratops also. And each of these does have the little JW logo there and then let's see what else we have oh we have a red and yellow t-rex you can see he's got the yellow stripe on the bottom with tiny little beady eyes 
some of these the paint job is great some of them is not that great but these are awesome sets if you get a set chance to buy these guys buy them Ooh, a really cool mosasaurus he's like tan gold blue and black awesome and you know i i do like the detail on these little guys like I said, the paint job is questionable on some of, some of them, but the detail is really cool. Here we've got a uh, gray and silver Velociraptor. Like I said, they do all have the little JW logo on it. Oh, we have an Indominus Rex. This guy's like a greenish brown color. The thing is, each one of these packages is guaranteed to have at least one. Indominus Rex. So it looks like this one does have just one. Some of them have more than one. And then we have a couple awesome Spinosauruses. This guy's like a tan and gold color. Uh, Spinosaurus is probably one of my favorite dinos. If I had to pick three, I would pick T-Rex, uh, Indominus Rex, and Spinosaurus. Uh, I do got the big Spinosaurus toy from Jurassic World, the animatronic one. That one is totally awesome. And I've done uh, lots of videos with that one. And I also reviewed it if you want to check out my Jurassic World or Jurassic Park playlists. Okay, so another uh, same Spinosaurus. And then here we have another one of the gray and silver velociraptors so the detail is good on these two I mean they have the third claw and everything so that is cool then we have a uh, pterodactyl actually this would be I believe a pteranodon so here it does also have the little JW this is like a green with a little bit of red on the crown we have a uh, dimorphodon so this guy's cool. It's like brown with blue spots and some black colors on him. And what do we have here? I believe this one is an Allosaurus. So that guy's cool. He's like red and black stripes. And then we have a uh, Pachycephalosaurus. This guy's like dark green like a greenish almost like a greenish tan color on top so that guy's really cool there then we have a uh, uh, ankylosaurus this guy's like all one color it's got like the spikes and the club tail and everything and they do paint tiny little beady black eyes on that guy and then last of all we have a uh, Stegosaurus. This guy's like brown. Uh, the plates on his back are like gray. Then he's got like the big spikes he uses to attack with. So there we have it guys. Uh, those were the dinos that we had today. So we had an awesome surprise egg. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please go ahead and click like and the thumbs up. You guys are a great audience guys. I really appreciate you guys watching over the years and if you guys if there's any new viewers uh, viewing I do got a lot of dinosaur videos dinosaur battles guys go to the Jurassic World playlist at the end of the video there's a lot of fun uh, videos over there and if you do want to buy any of the Jurassic World toys like I said I'll put a link below the video uh, to where you could buy them on Amazon. I am affiliated with Amazon, which means I get a small sales commission, but it costs you the exact same amount as if you just went on Amazon. So if you use my link, you'll be getting some awesome toys and also helping to support my channel. And let me know which one of these uh, unopened toys you see here is your favorite. I think mine is the original Indominus Rex. That is one you already are not going to find anymore. I mean that one, I think I paid around $75 on eBay to get that guy new again. So it's sad, but that one's going to be hard to find. But a lot of these other ones you could still find. So 
you have until June. So time is running out. Thanks, guys, and I will see you guys soon. Wow, watch what happens when the villains use mind control to make the dinosaurs attack each other. And also, we go ahead and open up this awesome Playmobil T-Rex Temple playset. <laughs> I hate dinos. Watch me use this mind control ray on this huge dino that's attacking us. <laughs> Check him out, he's in our power! Okay, let's go ahead and test drive him! Look, there's a Triceratops trying to get its baby out of the trapper's cages! Perfect chance! Look, she's trying to get back up! Oh no, the Sukumis has her! That is the end. Oh no, look. They're sending him after the poor defenseless little baby. No! Oh no, she's eating the poor defenseless little triceratops. She ate that poor, cute little baby. Look, the hunters have trapped the raptors in a cage. They're trying to get out. Uh -oh. Here comes Sue the Sukumimus. Oh, look, she's trying to help them. She opened the door. Maybe she's not bad after all. Look, I think he's trying to thank her. Oh no! Ah! The other raptor tries to run for it. No! She's got him. Look, the Stegosaurus is looking for her baby. Oh, poor little Steggy. Will she find her? No! Oh, Sue got her! Her baby's gonna be an orphan! Check her out, guys! She's completely under my control. <laughs> she won't do anything without me telling her. Do you mean I could just poke her in the snot like that? <laughs> She's not doing anything! <laughs> This is awesome! Yeah! <laughs> no! However, that one is not under my control! Whoops! One guy down. I'm gonna have to find a new replacement. Oh well. Let's test this dino out! Oh, T Rex first Sukamimus! Oh, she's got the first blow! T Rex is down! Nothing's gonna beat our girl! Uh oh, something is coming.
Bob Stopper until I get the mind control ray ready. Oh, there goes Bob. Here she comes, quick ray. And that, my friend, is why you don't mess with dinosaurs, because life will find the way. Ah! I knew I shouldn't have came back to Jurassic World. Nice dino, nice dino. Please don't eat me, mister. Ah! Wow, guys, great to see you again. Playmobil sent me this awesome, huge Explorers Dinosaur Toys playset. It comes with a T-Rex and a huge, like, skull-looking playset. Awesome. Wow, check out the options on the back. So you got a firing missile. You got a cage here, which the T-Rex could attack bunch of plants this is the playset from the inside over here you've got like a working winch you have like a light to like it's like some type of hieroglyphics there and these are all the pieces that are actually in the set cool let's check it out and last week I reviewed the other five Playmobil dino sets. So once again, these have the awesome boxes. You cut three pieces of tape and the whole box opens up. So you got a nice storage box for when the set's done. So here is three pieces of the wall. Oh wow, that is a huge, very heavy looking T-Rex. Oh, I like that one. That one is awesome. And then a uh, bag with some pieces, some people, uh, tree pieces, some more forest stickers. We've got boxes and a bunch of pieces from the fortress. Looks like these are the pieces from the cage. Over here, some more tree pieces. You got like the light and everything here. Uh, looks like more pieces of the fort and some more guys over here. Awesome! Oh, and a set of instructions. So, we are going to use the instructions and put this awesome set together. Okay, so here is the Playmobil Explorers T-Rex set. Wow, this is a big set. First, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what the accessories that come with the set then we will take a look at the set itself so the first thing is the t-rex this guy is awesome super heavy really good quality i mean even better quality than uh some of the earlier playmobil dinosaur toys i have uh reviewed and tried out but anyways the t-rex head moves up and down the mouth does so he is really cool looking. The mouth does open and close all the way. Really cool looking teeth, yellow eyes. He's like a really, like a maroon with red uh, striping and spots on him. The arms will rotate, I believe. Oh, okay, so they pop up. So they don't go 360. Okay, so they go a good amount, but not 360. The legs 
will also do a good amount. I don't want to pop it off. And the nails are painted like a tan color. And it's got like nails in the back here. So this is a really awesome looking Playmobil dinosaur. And then accessories. This set is loaded with them. It comes with three characters. This character here, uh, I've got a machete. On her back, she has a backpack with a uh, laptop attached, which actually you could open up and pretend she is doing work on the laptop. This one comes with a pair of binoculars she's wearing, a holster with a pistol that comes out. She's got a machete. Uh, she is dressed for jungle exploring, and she could put another weapon into the back there. This one here, uh, this, I think this looks like a lady, uh, comes with a rifle, a camera she could take off around her neck, jungle explorer outfit, <laughs> one of my kids put a lizard into her holster, hey, why not? And then a uh, backpack here, so you could actually, you could push the backpack, but it doesn't look like, I don't think it opens up, but you could push it, so that is cool looking. And then it comes with this little dog. The head moves up and down. Comes with like a little gold statue. A uh, big, huge... Uh, it looks like a snake. But unless it's a double snake. Maybe it's two snakes intertwined. Uh, microscope, uh, bug, uh, change of outfit. So I believe this girl here could put this on. It's like some type of uh, dress some uh beakers for scientific work comes with a nice big box here you could put all the extra gear into which is cool it'll even fit the bug in there cool and if you want you could put like the golden uh statue in there it does close and you got another little box here that says danger in here I've got like uh, looks like a satellite telephone you got this uh, like what would this be crate over here you could put all the stuff on because you have a working lift there so you could lift the stuff up you got a work light here you got a plant here that opens and closes you did have this is like a blue light. You shine it on and, I, and the tablet in there, the letters would only show up under this light, but I put a AAA battery that was good. I tested it, but the light does not work. So that's a little disappointing. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out this fortress. So this fortress is really awesome looking. We're gonna start from the top top you got a bunch of foliage trees growing out of here uh, okay they don't move i think if yeah you could swivel it so you could put the tree branches into different directions here you have an action button if you push this the gate will fall down which i will show you in a minute uh this got like jewels in the eyes so this looks almost like a the whole front of the fortress looks like some type of statue's head. So these jewels would be the eyes. You got a plant there. And then if you push the action button, bam, the door falls down and locks into place. Then you simply go ahead, push it back up here, and it is locked into place again to fall down again. So you can slam it shut if the T-Rex tries to get into the opening. You could slam it shut right onto his head. Although I wish they would made a, a little bigger fortress for the T-Rex or made the T-Rex. I, I don't want the T-Rex smaller, but I mean, I wish they would have made the fortress bigger because it almost seems too small compared to the size of the T-Rex. So back here, you got a ladder, so you could have your guys climb up the ladder to different uh, sections of the platform there. Like she could be over here, 
this girl up top here. The other one could be on the bottom doing the scientific work. Here, you're seeing a rope. That rope goes to this lift over here. If you go ahead and detach this rope, you could lower the lift to the ground to bring up equipment. So you could pull this big box up there and then you pull the rope. It actually lifts the equipment up and you could put it into different sections of the platform, which is really cool. And then the platform has the bottom level here. It shows like a T-Rex and the plant over there. If you're looking up here, you've got swivel lights here, swivel lights there. It would have been kind of cool if they would have made these lights to actually work. I mean, if you would have put a watch battery in there, that would have been really awesome. And then that is the second level, and then you've got the top level. So with this top level here, you've got this big like ray gun thing that actually works. So if you push the button here, it's actually flashing lights on the top there. It's a little hard. There we go. And it's a lot brighter than it looks because uh, my lights here are set up for really bright lighting. So it is really cool looking. Then here you've got, I'm not exact, this looks like some type of a trap system that actually will close up. So you could push it to close. So maybe if the T-Rex, he's, he's tall enough to come here Maybe you could have it lower and trap him in there so he can't eat our friends. Awesome. And I have reviewed the other five sets. Uh, go ahead and check out my uh, episode, Terror. Go ahead and check out my uh, episode last week. It is uh, five Playmobil dinosaur sets. And in the description, it's Terror in the Zoo. So you have a breakout of animals in Jurassic World. So that is awesome. So this set is really cool. If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Wow, guys, watch what happens when Dr. Grant and Billy steal the T-Rex baby. Are they going to get eaten? Oh, no. Wait and see. Of all the stinking rotten... Oh. <laughs> Blamey good day, folks! Check it out! I found the dinosaur nest with a real dinosaur egg! Wow! Check out that baby, he's sleeping. I'm going to steal that egg! I'm going to make a fortune! Wow! This is my best day ever! Wow! Awesome! <laughs> Something behind me. Oh, great. Oh, just my luck. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm just gonna get out of your way here. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Of all the stinking rotten. Oh.
Now, Billy, Billy, do not touch anything. Dinosaurs could follow the scent of their eggs or babies anywhere. Like Dr. Ian Grant says, life finds a way. Wow. An actual T-Rex egg. Check it out, Dr. Grant. <laughs> I'm touching the egg. <laughs> Billy, do not do that. Do not do that. Do not fool around. Check this out, Dr. Green. Yay! Celebrating! Yay! Yay! Uh-oh, Dr. Grant, we've got a problem. What do you do now, Billy? Uh, Dr. Grant, I broke this guy's leg. What? Are you nuts? Let's get out of here before the mommy T-Rex returns. But we gotta help the Oh no, Billy. We are leaving right now. Go! Oh, what a great morning. Boy, I slept good last night. I think I'm gonna hit the lab and catch up on some work. Good morning, Billy. I think I'm gonna hit the lab and catch up on some work. Uh, Dr. Grant, I would not do that. Why is that? I would not do that. Not a good idea. Okay, now I'm going to see what you've done, Billy. Are you crazy? You brought that T-Rex in our lab. We are dead. We are so dead. But Dr. Grant, check it out. I fixed his leg. Everything's gonna be all right. Billy, you have no idea what you're talking about. We are dead men walking. Quick, let's go hide in the camp. Okay, Dr. Grant, what were you so freaked out about? You will see very soon, Billy. What was that? Dr. Grant, there's something there. Quiet. Check it out, there's another one. It's the parents, it's the mom and dad, T-Rex. Oh, they are not happy. Okay, Billy, we're gonna open that door really slowly and let the baby out. They're smelling her. Oh look, they're taking her away. Oh look, they're taking her away. Maybe everything will be alright, Doc. They're gone, Doc. We did it! We did it! They're gone! Billy, you have no idea the pain we're gonna feel now.
doctor pushing us. Oh no! Pushing us over the edge, Doc! We're going down! Hang on, Billy! Whatever you do, do not let go! Oh, they're pushing us over the edge, Doc! This is the end! What are we gonna do? Okay, Billy, we gotta get out of here. This thing's going over. Quick, quick, climb out the window there. I'm in the main part of the RV. Doc, I'm not gonna make it. I can't reach that window. Quick, give me your hand. Wow, that was a close one. And that, Billy, is why you do not rescue dinosaur babies. Okay, guys, it's great to see you again. I have another awesome Jurassic Park dinosaur repaint. This is the Chaos Effect Bull T-Rex repainted to look like the Gopher Bull T-Rex, which never came out. It was a prototype that never came out. So the artists that did this did a really great job. Uh, there is a few places it's coming off and some of the paint is a little sticky in places, but overall, you know, for the effect, it's really cool. I showed you guys this other repaint of the Jurassic World one, so that one was cool, and you guys liked that one, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys this golfer Bull T-Rex. So let's first of all go ahead and take a look at this guy closely, and then... Uh, I want to show you guys the other bull T-Rexes because I do have three other ones and they are really cool. The coolest thing about these bull T-Rexes is they could swallow anything. I mean their mouth will open way up. You can see there the paint crack is on there. Uh, their mouth will open way up and they could swallow action figures easily. I mean all the way down full size action figures. The uh, weird thing they came with was the bull T-Rexes came with this freaky coffin looking thing with the guy who hides inside. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you guys. So there's a guy that is permanently attached in here. He's like scared. He's like holding on and hiding in here. I don't know if this is supposed to probably supposed to be some type of a box or something but it's designed so the t-rex just swallows the whole box check that out I mean, this thing will open its mouth way up it will swallow the box and then you go ahead and pull the box out of a slit in its stomach so here is the slit reach in here you pull out the full-size box right here. And it's a little hard to grab, but there we go. You pull out the full-size box. So this guy will swallow probably evenly about six action figures he could fit in his stomach. And he also does make a roaring sound. It's not very loud, so listen closely. So, uh, I don't think that's the battery either. I mean, most of these, the sound was not all that great from the beginning. But, uh, these guys do have real glass eyes. This guy, you could tell he was the Chaos Effect form because if you look inside, he's orange. Where the original one was not orange. The original one was like a green sort of brownish color which I'll show you in a moment but ah uh, the cool thing about these is they're all individual teeth I mean some of them are broken to give you the effect of this guy being really vicious and then they put uh, decent size arms here with the two claws which is authentic for a t-rex 
and then you can see the coloring uh like i said this is based off of the golfer t-rex so the coloring is like an orange and green coloring the detail is really good here you can see a spot of paint has flecked off you can see orange underneath up here a little bit of blue so it's definitely the chaos effect pool t-rex that was painted which i don't know why they didn't paint the original one the original one's actually cheaper than the chaos effect one so if i would have done it i would have painted the original one but anyways you know what i was happy to get it because it's a prototype look of a dino that never came out so you can see the jp logo there on the leg and here's the other side of it. so like i said this guy is really cool he's a lot of fun and let me show you the other old t-rexes like i said i've got all of them. okay so this one here is the original bull t-rex you can see by the way this one stands and everything that it's pretty much identical. This one uh, is JP28 on the leg. If you do want to see a full review of this, check out my uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World playlist. So there is that one. And then let me show you the Chaos Effect one. Which was actually the golfer one that they painted. So like I said, I mean it's a sh kind of a shame that they repainted the chaos effect one rather than the original one because the chaos effect was really cool i mean look at this he's got like the war paint coloring on his face and everything uh the same teeth war stripes and everything uh these other two also could uh swallow the full-size action figures or that coffin thing i showed you before this one is j well, this one's JP28 too. So it's the same number as the original, but it's the Chaos Effect one. So that one is cool. And then here is the one that was made exclusively for Toys R Us. This one is different in the fact that the inside is mostly filled up with the speaker. So he does make a lot more sounds, but he can't swallow the full size action figure, so that's disappointing. But the cool thing about this is, is his feet will move in and out. So you can get him to stand in a much more upright position. Where the original ones are stuck in this low position, you could get this guy to stand way up just by simply moving his feet. As you can see, he stands a lot higher than the other ones. Uh, this guy's like a gray, orange, and black color scheme. He's got like the orange glass eyes. But other than that, he is really similar, except like I said, for the sound. Let's listen to some of the sound effects this guy makes. Uh, this guy is really cool too. Uh, he does complement the other ones really uh, good. Except I don't think it's actually called uh, Bull T-Rex. I'm not really sure what it's called. Because you can tell the head seems to be the same mold on the head and everything. But, like I said, right back there is stopped because this whole inside of him is filled up with this so that is all for old T-Rexes. Let me know in the comments section down below which one you like more.
Wow, guys, that was awesome. If you guys enjoyed this Jurassic Park episode, make sure you click like and drop me comments.